Uh, welcome to today's Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee meeting. Today is Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. The approximate time is 5.47 p.m. We're meeting today at City Hall uh, at the uh, First Floor Conference Room in 1110 Houston Street. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, we'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'd like to call a uh, roll call. Uh, Mr. Alfonso Poncho Ruiz. Present. Mr. Sergio Chavez. Absent. Myself, Victor Vasquez. Present. Olga Gentry. Absent. Rafael Martinez. Present. Uh, Rick Laurel. Present. Roberto Ortiz. Here. And Mr. Rodolfo Morales. Absent. We have a quorum. Mr. Chair, if I can just make a, just want to uh, let the board know, I'm going to step out for a little bit for personal, for a personal reason. I will be back hopefully in the next 30 to 45 minutes because I think that standing will be conducted the meeting. Thank you, okay? Coach. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bullet point number four, approval of, min of the minutes for the meeting held on April 12, 2022. I make a motion, we accept the minutes. I second the motion. Motion, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any against? None. Motion carries. Uh, public comments. Uh, citizens must identify themselves for the committee chair to advise that the committee chair intent to speak will be recognized during public comments. Uh, Ms. Landin, we have no public comments. Ms. Landin, we have no public comments, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, bullet point five, communications and announcements. Ms. Stanley? Uh, thank you. And board members, any uh, communications or announcements that you wish to make at this time? Bullet point number six. Let me just uh, mm -hmm. mention, uh, interject here. We do have our summer program. It did start. Um, we're going to do a report for it in the next meeting. But uh, we did start our swimming pool and our summer playground program for the first year since 2019. Um, the pools, as you can imagine, are packed. Uh, the public is very, very thankful that the pools are open. The rec centers being as they are in closed facilities, it's a little bit slower. I think we're at, the, at half capacity than we were back in 2019, uh, half the uh, registration numbers. And so we kind of expected that. Um, you know, I know that when kids first, parents first started sending their children to school right after, um, you know, they were given the freedom to do so, they were kind of a little bit hesitant to, and so we kind of anticipated that. Uh, prepared for full, but anticipated this. So, you know, uh, it's, it's doing very well. And, and I wanna uh, commend, you know, take this time also to commend your department because I was attending a binational park <laughs> announcement um, where uh, the congressman play at, a few weeks ago, and and somebody approached me, who was actually an elected official from from the county, and approached me that uh, there was some items on a particular field where uh, her family is part of a of a league where they they they're, they've been using one of the fields there at the at the um, at the base, and it needed some minor improvements, and of course we let just. Uh, Staff know and you all were on it real quick. So as as everything, I know that you always have a hundred fires to put up, and then there comes a like hundred one, hundred two, and you know you don't hesitate to do that. So so you know, I want to commend you on that. Um, and, and we've got a great staff that work hard, long hours. So thank you for that. We'll let them know. Board members and any other information? Okay. Uh, thank you, Ms. Stanley, for, for your announcement. We'll be on the lookout. Um, I know personally that whether it be on Twitter or Instagram, and I speak on behalf of myself here, 
If I see information that's being shared out by the city or by the parks division, I'm always sharing it out with people I know because they're, I mean, they might call me on, hey, you know, what time does this work? And I know that Ms. Lee can confirm. Sometimes I don't know these answers, so I reach out to Ms. Lee or, or to Coach. Um, but it's very useful that people continue to uh, get this type of information, to receive it through social media or, you know, to PSAs that uh, the times and the pools that are open and the rec center, I know that you all do a great job of communicating that as well. Thank you. Uh, bullet point number six, items for discussion for possible action. Uh, item number one, discussion of possible action on the use of parks and recreation fields and facilities for monetary gain. I believe that this one in particular, I um, believe, if I'm not mistaken, was requested by Mr. Morales or uh, was that requested by one of y'all? It, it, it's, it's on the table for discussion. If y'all have any uh, matters that you all wish to address. Well, what, what do you mean by monetary gain? What was that? I know that at our, at our last, charge. to charge accordingly, because I know at our last meeting we discussed uh, how our fees weren't up to par, and I think Ms. Stanley, you all can attest that the fees haven't been looked at in quite some time, so I know that we've made some recommendations. We looked at some of the fee to, yes, to do the, the baseball, to rent the fields. And correct. And those had that, that dollar amount was approved by council, uh, you know, as we talked about at the last meeting. That has not been visited since, you know, we started allowing, you know, back in. Gosh, I don't even know when. Before 96. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it was just a contract that was entered into between both entities, you know, the city of Laredo and the league president, and will allow you to use the fields um, because you are doing something for our community, for our kids. And so okay. there will be no fee imposed to use the fields uh, as long as you ensure you have a quality uh, program. And so that fee uh, was approved by council. And I know that when we talked about it uh, with this board uh, right after the approval, there was some discussion about that. Uh, and so with regard to that, I think we definitely took our first step in imposing the fee that we did, you know, and it's, it's baby steps. When we first started trying to put more structure in the requirements. You know, it was, you have to be, um, you have to have a 501c3. And so you have to have background checks. You have to have, uh, well the 990 was the last one that was just recently approved or implemented into. You've got to have an affiliation. You've got to have insurance. Yeah, we are talking about that now, now. I remember. Mm -hmm. And so the reason we did that was because, um, we are doing it for our kids, you know, and that is our priority, and their safety is our priority, and so it was very important to us to make sure, um, you know, that we do everything that we can. That's why we implemented, and, and council has actually been the uh, driving force to make sure that we get these things taken care of. And so our job and our role is to enforce the requirements that council has asked uh, has, has asked us to to include in the requirements of the leagues. And so that is our role. We started out, um, gosh, when we first started doing this, uh, early 2000s, probably, well, it was early 2000s, and it was just, you know, uh, insurance. I want to say that the requirements were minimum. They had to have insurance, and they had to have uh, set number of leagues, submit the rosters, we needed to know how many people they had, uh, take care of the fields and what have you, and that was like, we got so much pushback on that. And so then it just kept on getting a little bit more structured. And with the first one that we did, I think back in 19, 18, 18, 19 is the first one that started having uh, more teeth to it, and that was the backgrounds and the insurance. Let's start with that, we know that it's gonna be difficult for them to have uh, some of the other stuff, but let's just move forward with that. So we did, and more teams started complying, more leagues started complying. This last time, it was just a little bit more structure, and to solidify 
you know, and, and the whole purpose was exactly what you all said. We want to make sure that people aren't using city property for personal gain. And so for that and to that end, I think the last, um, the clincher was the Form 990. And so every league is going to have to submit a 990. They're going to have to have the 501c3, not the affiliates 501c3. Well, yeah, it's got to be the local. The 17 were using the little league. Exactly. We were using the uh, corporate. Yeah. We're not allowing that anymore. Council uh, um, stipulated that let's make it a local because that way we know how much is being spent by the local affiliate, yeah. you know, the, the local uh, team. And uh, um, this is the route that we've taken. And so I know that we're getting a little bit of pushback on this, but um, we have had 100% compliance uh, as of this afternoon. My, my, <laughs> yes, my, yes. my concern, again, is the fact that we should be charging the leagues or the team when they play to have law enforcement there, not the park police that are driving around. An actual LPD. LPD during the game, especially after what happened in Uvalde. Kevin, they are getting locals out at the IE, you know, shoot, how long would it take for law enforcement to get there? Mm -hmm. They say, in less than a minute. But right. we, need, we need presence during the game. And besides that, you and, know. And that your suggestion is in tournaments or in any? Any kind of, any kind of game. Any, any kind of game because uh, mm -hmm. the, the thing is during main games, La Gente Se Pelea, parents are the ones that start the fights. And I don't know, you mean police presence at the actual game or just driving, patrolling? Oh, like actually, the at, at the game, so people can see you walking around there and everything. You know, comes on a chat at a referee and all that. I mean, hey. You like add it to the yeah. Because if you hire just one to walk the whole, let's say, Florida field, you hire someone just to walk the whole field. And, and that's currently not a uh, requirement. Correct. That's correct. Like, uh, and maybe not LPD, but some kind of law enforcement. It is not. It is not a requirement. And I don't mean security, because it's looking almost Yeah, away. yeah, no, no, no. Because in a security, at the end of the day, he might be unarmed. Yeah, and, exactly. And, you know, you know, he goes But then I don't think it should be the the city's responsibility The hey, if you rent it out, well, if you need security, you need Whatever you, 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 you as a guy putting the event yeah. together, yeah. just like if you rent out the LEA, so, yeah. um, the same arena, mm -hmm. you, you, the people that are there, the promoters paying for it, or the yeah. the arenas paying for and, it. And the same example as, as Unitrade. I know you all are, are in, in talks with Unitrade, uh, or, or whenever the, they're holding events. The city doesn't provide this. The, the city does not. The city there is a contract when you. Um, you use Unitrade, you want to rent it, you want to have an event, uh, let's say for the concerts. And so the city can, and we of course go through our police department, the city can declare uh, our police department, our police chief, recommends that we have X number of police officers for this type of event. And so we uh, put that requirement onto the person who is going to be renting the facility. Right. So there's an expectation. And, and the Okay. And the cost, yeah. exactly. But the city does not absorb that cost. It would be cost absorbent for us. Right. Well, that, that's what I mean. I mean, it should be up to the, the leagues, the teams, whatever. Because if Seattle pass that, and no police presence, hey, the city does not provide protection. Okay, you know, it would be the same thing at Wolverine. Oregon. I, I, think, I think that the best recognition that we, we can give is, of course, we're not going to be the ones to uh, um, make the kind of say, but the recommendation will the approval is going to be on council. I think that that would be the best recommendation that we could do is is for for, for security measures to be taken, and then they can discuss whether what type of security they would want to suggest, mm -hmm. um, whether they would allow a, a one security a security person that is an unarmed or an armed security. Because now priority is going to be security. Let me ask. I would I would know. Let's say. At Slaughter Field, because this is a big field. Which field? Uh, Slaughter. Yeah. Oh, okay. How many people do you figure will be there like, when most, all, everything's being used at one time? We're going to be a couple of hundreds. I mean, oh, thousands. Wow. So, but you've got all the fields and uh, 
the soccer, and then of course you've got other amenities there. The little water park. Yeah. Uh, maybe a couple, couple of hundred easily. Yeah. And that's what I mean. I mean, you, and if you're just going to have a, a city park just drive by once in a while. Yeah. But we're talking about rentals. Right, like, like well, oh, he's talking to, just plain. He's, plain yeah. he's, about, yeah. he's like, just talking general, about general, but I, I mean, okay. that we if we focus first on one and then the other. The first was like if I were to go rent a field for a tournament, yeah, I think it should be right. the same stipulation as renting. Yeah, for any arena, any, 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 and then require them to have. Uh, right. What you're what you're asking for is all around that that. And that I think that goes. That, I think that's a little bit more of the city having to implement more routine checks or whatever. But, no, uh, but uh, this puts it more on the renter than the yeah, city. Well, I want it to put I want it on the renter, not not the city yeah. itself. Yeah. If you're gonna have a little league game here and another one here, then it should be one of uh, so any tournaments, here and another any tournaments of any type. I mean tennis we can baseball, definitely put softball, uh, basketball. we can put something together. And how, how does it work find for out other cities? Uh, for like District 7 where they don't have a lot of league stuff, but they're the point, they do a whole lot of like little trainings all over the fields. And they sometimes have conflicts like, because I wanted to use it, I was here last time. Who I think you, on those, since it's a public park, you just call the police and because it's not a rental. Who, who's, who, who would have, like whoever gets it first or how does that work? It depends if it's if it is renting, no? it, well not renting well, if, if they have already submitted a consistent permitted. request form for whether they're going to have a tournament whether they're going to have practice yeah, games already. and what have you they'll let us know um, if not we have all other fields are first come first serve okay. so I know I know that what they do a lot and you'll see it they'll do like little Twenty No, no. Yeah, like a ten k, and, and okay. they'll do that, and it's not really. A, it's not a league. It's just somebody getting together, training them. And you know, like for me, I as long as people are doing stuff, but who would be like? I, that's what I've seen. And, and I think there we can't police that okay. because I mean, somebody the first come first serve. Yeah. So it would be whoever yeah. gets it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just had and, that. And, and for that, we can't require you know all that security be there. Or, or anything like that, okay. that but no. but for, for the individuals I think that's because you're anticipating in league games there's or in tournaments game. that there's going to be people you know you have 25 kids so you multiply that times two you know that's already 25 oh. kids times two of the parents that's already 75 persons there from one team and then the other you know so you anticipated at least there are 100 folks there Easily. so I think that the requirement should be you know, maybe by the amount of individuals that you're going to have there, any anywhere between 25 and 100, you know, you have one person, you know, one law enforcement officer or something. You're expecting to have, you know, two, 250 or more. You know, that you're, that the suggestion is that you have two officers there. Yeah, um, and I think that's something that, that um, you know, I'll, I'm not in law enforcement that we need to talk to the chief about to say, like, can you imagine one cop versus a hundred people? Like he's out, he's out, man, he's out, yeah. man. So I'm pretty sure they have a ratio of, of how many guess, officers per. I guess three angry parents. So, <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> that, so. Well, the thing is, it's a deterrent more yeah. than anything. Most of the times, it, it is the parents, you know, that are causing the problem. You know, like it's one one parent against another team and back and forth, or against the umpire and all yeah, that. No more. Yeah. <laughs> and the value has already been the back wife, you know. So, so a, a, a vote is required for this item, and, and this item specifically worrying that a action on the use of parks and recreation fields and facilities for monetary gain. I so, make a motion we accept as presented by staff the proposal. A second. Because I know I see the fees and the. And the Now, there isn't anything in particular that we have to vote on, no. correct? That, that well, we can take action based on your discussion today. What we can do is come up with some criteria and recommendations and look at other cities and see what other cities are doing. 
uh, and then talk with our police department and find out what their recommendation is, and then we can try to, you know, bring it back to you to implement. But I thought that the item that it was uh, possible use of uh, parks and recreation for monitoring, for monitoring game, like that's what I'm voting on. I mean, the security stuff can. That can be an addition because I, I think that that could be. Or that could uh, be on another uh, agenda uh, item. Or, yeah. Or, that can be included okay. on this one if it's a if it's a motion uh, to add if you were to make a motion to add that a security section be I wouldn't make a motion to add that I would say let's research it before we would add it but I'm thinking right now it's the uh, action of the parks and recreation facilities for monitor using the park for monetary gain I think that's what the the vote is is that yes let's Okay. Uh, if you're going to do both, you might as well do the yeah, order, the order at the same time. Well, explain then, because I'm kind of confused on what the motion is. It's a discussion of possible action on the use of the parks and recreation fields and facilities for monetary gain. No. I'm saying, I yes. Make a, yes, let's make a motion that the fields and facilities for the monetary gain. But well, they already are. But that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. They already They're, are. They already are by ordinance. So this would be redundant if we move to do that. Well, I well I okay. Then I move I move to add into this uh, first uh, action item to add that a security guard, an armed security guard, should be added just like a rental of any other city park, like the baseball we field or the best. Definitely do that. Yes. I think if I remember correctly, Ms. Gentry had a concern, and this is what how this item also came up. It was I think twofold. We had people who were using our facilities. Um, tennis courts is what the discussion started with. Mm -hmm. And people were going to the tennis courts, they were giving lessons, mm -hmm. they were and getting, getting paid. exactly paid. on city property. And so that was like a specific, well, they shouldn't be doing that. And so that's why we included the um, user fee ordinance that exists right now in the background. And, and and if, if, if I can interject there briefly, Ms. Allen, I think that that's what Mr. Ortiz was, was saying, for example, hey, you know, you know a good basketball player, and hey, you know, he's going to train these 10 kids there. A lot of the times a parent does pay mm -hmm. because he does charge $10 an hour, 20 bucks yeah, an hour. Yeah, that's what so, they do. But, but at that, how could we... There's how, no way. How do you police how could we as parks, How could we police it? You know, how does... How would parks deal with it? You know, in a, in a sense where if... Another parent or another kid wants to. If we to get all our team. sons together to, 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 to play, you're a great basketball player, but you yeah. show them how to. You know, yeah. We're going to give you 20 bucks for. That's what they do for a lot of the Yeah. That they'll train. And pump but pump. how would it be policed even if we are to you know, come up with. And I think that's what the discussion was more leaning towards. How can we. How can you control that? You know, at the tennis, exactly. At the tennis courts, we get complaints at the office. Uh, so and so is uh, giving lessons over there. Well, staff goes over there. You know, I've got uh, my uh, one of my my employees will go over there and talk to the coach or to the person who made the reservations. Oh, I'm not giving classes. These are my daughter's friends. Yeah, they can easily see So. You're, you're not going to call them out. You take them. And, well, we're just explaining that you know we cannot do this, mm -hmm. and I'm not we're good. Thank you. Okay, and everybody, yeah, you know. You, you so what do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think what the the if I'm not mistaken, what the discussion was with regard to this is is there anything we can do that would uh, prevent this from happening? And so, is there any action that you all feel we should be taking or implementing? We've, we've added the aspect and the component of security, which I think is good on the rentals. That's what um, the monetary gain is. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I think that particularly is where the monetary gain is. Uh, and so, make them uh, come up with security for, they're, they're creating an event that would possibly incite and so let's make sure that we implement a fee structure that um, causes them to hire security and make a, you know, have a fabulous event, but make it secure. Yeah. So that's definitely one item that we can incorporate into this. So I, I already put that motion up there, so I don't know. Yes. I'll second it. 
I'll second the motion. There's a, a second. So I can just word it so I can put it in the minutes. So so it would be Mr. Lauren makes a motion to uh, uh, paid security to add a security um, clause. Clause, correct? That um, it, a non-security or just a security? No, no, no. I, they, right. Just, just like any other, just like the whatever's in the city uh, like for the NBA the NBA or the baseball, the same thing. Okay, yeah, I, don't, right. I don't know what the verbiage is. Yeah, I, I think that security and then the the city makes that evaluation whether it be the city attorney's office or the the uh, uh, city chief. Well, of well, I don't see a point of having a unarmed security. Yeah. Yeah. But but you know what? It it, it should be. And armed security. Armed security. Yeah. To add the children security are there. As armed, armed security. An armed security as other uh, city buildings require. As other city, I guess. Um, oh my God! Like the what the what the yeah. other things are in the city the, parks uh, and recreational contracts. Um, or, for or? I think any mass gathering. I mean, what mass gatherings. I mean, any mass the, the, the concerts in the park, we have security in the city concerts. Because I know the, the Parks and Rec puts that on, so that's paid for. Correct. But if I decide, hey, I'm going to throw a concert, I would be in charge of hiring, security. hiring someone. I can rent out the park, right. but I have to have paid security on the premises. Right. Like the council members that have moving in. So I, I see where you are. Yeah. It's a yeah. police department. Mm -hmm. To add an well, they, they have yeah. security, right? right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's but it's yeah, but the so movies in, in the park is a city event, so or well, do they pay the that out of their detail, or is it to out add of the park? park or security. hours? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's our. I see where you're going with yeah, regard to if you're going to be using yeah, the facilities arena. to make money. If you're going to do a concert yeah. in the park, you're going to be making money, whether it's selling tickets or whether it's going to be you know selling beer. Yeah, and so. Definitely incorporate. Well, and I think so at this point we should already. From what I understand, right? so yes. any activity that you're doing where you're actually using the city to um, make money, or to make money, then you need to incorporate. Uh, and we can also look into, and we can bring that back to you information. And, on and does, does that include nonprofits like you know you hear the 5K runs or the the runs there at the uh, well, I mean North Central Park that you hear about. Eventually, eventually it's going to have to fall. Like an umbrella or anything. I, I, I think that also as organizers that that you need to look at whether you are a nonprofit, a business or whatever, if you're gonna do some type of event and you can't guarantee people security anymore, don't don't be don't be doing don't be doing these types of events. Um, uh, a lot well, whether of it's a nonprofit or not, that doesn't matter. Nonprofits still have money to pay for stuff. So I mean, yeah, like, like yeah. you have. Uh, yeah. 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 They pay for catering. They pay for water. They can pay for. Security. A perfect example is when they um, rent out one of the swimming pools. Even if it's only ten people attending, you require at least one lifeguard, right? Yes, sir. Or, like, there's always and a lifeguard. Lifeguard and a lifeguard. So, one. so I think I think that we got to move move into that direction. And, and and we recommend it to council, and then and then the, the process they want to take. So they are able to update this to add that clause that we are requiring, and then all the other details is added by either council or the chief. You know, to and by details is the cost and all of that. But I think that the individual should be armed, whether it be from a private security company where they are armed as well, or so that it should be. So you're coming. Uh, um, the or, key or any type of uh, peace officer uh, individual. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Mr. Laurent, motion to require or to add to the but I'll oh, yes. word that uh, to require an armed security as in other mass gatherings when using arts and recreation fields and facilities for, and that's it, because I said it's monetary gain, so I'm not using that one. But it doesn't um, matter if it's adding monetary to that. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's monetary gain yeah. or not, as long as they, they get yeah. a permit or whatever it is. That when they're, they're using right. the parks and recreation. Is that okay? Correct. Right. I don't know if they're going to put a stipulation on X amount of people in the bar or 
Yeah, of course. Well, that would probably be up to legal. Yeah, we, yeah. we leave that yeah. up to security and to legal. I mean, they might they might request it on fifty people or more. They might request it on twenty five or a hundred. But at least we have that in place. Because if I run a meeting room at the arena, I don't think they'll. Yeah, make them put I mean, <laughs> security. Security. Yeah, yeah, for 10, 50 people. Yeah. But I mean, you have you know children and parents and. So well, I need a second. Uh, so there's a motion, uh, Mr. Um, yes. Rafael had already second. Oh, that's right. There's a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any against? None. Motion carries. The uh, item number two, discussion possible action on the removal of five oh. mature trees affecting a private fence. Um, Any information on that? <laughs> yeah. So we received a 311 call with regard to some trees that are flanking uh, this homeowner's, uh, are flanking the park between the park and the homeowner's back fence. And she's got a cinder block fence. And so the fence is already starting to come apart. The I'm root sorry, system dried in. And you so can see the, the picture, I guess, where you can see the fence. Yes. And so when we started researching this. It's the 311s. In the back? Mm -hmm. 313 removal request. All right. So. Oh, okay. Um, we started researching this, and we're very concerned because the trees are mature trees. And we hate to. Cut down any trees, remove any trees, especially if they're mature like this. But the woman was very upset because a uh, cinder block wall is very expensive. Correct. And so it's cracked. And so she did go to risk. So when we were looking into this, uh, um, what we identified was, well, there's got to be a tree board. And so there was a tree board. It was under another department. There's a board, there's a ar arbor, or is it arborist? The city arborist? Uh, it was actually a tree board. A tree board? And so, what ended uh, under another division, another mm -hmm. department. Because I don't know. Environmental? Okay. What did Wolfcraft say? Under another department. Yeah. Does that board still exist? No. Let me tell you what happened to that. Wow. This is interesting. So, it was decided that Parks and Recreation, the board, mm -hmm would be absorbing that responsibility. And so if you look at your, <laughs> if you look at the ordinance, deleting the tree board of the land development code to abolish the tree board and amending section 2318, which is parks and recreation of article two of chapter 23 of the code of ordinance to add the duties of that board the duties formerly carried out by the tree board and amending se section 2316 to provide for ex officio members for the Parks and Recreation Board, um, the planning and zoning recommended approval of this item. So what this means is the Parks On and Recreation Board- On 41907. So what this means <laughs> is that we are going to oh. come up with requirements um, yeah, so I wanted to bring this before you, first of all, because we had a huge concern about, you know, bringing down mm -hmm. uh, mature trees. And then when we started looking at this, it was like, we really need to have some type of guideline on, you know, tree removal um, and input. I think that's a huge input. I know that the Land Development Code oversees a lot of, of the development and, um, landscaping that already goes in there but this is re referring to all our parks well i know that there's a i when i lived in austin there was an arborist there were several arborists that worked for the city of austin whenever new construction was going to go out they'd go out there with a, with a spray paint and tag the trees that could not be removed and they had to work around them and design around them and everything mm -hmm. so but i don't know in this case is same what came first, the tree or the fence? The tree. The, the tree. Yeah, the tree. But I'm saying, like, you built your center block knowing that this there's already a mature. Now, I don't know if this lady 
had her survey done and it was on her property line or because you have that feat when you do your scissors lock fence where where um, if you go over the the property like what's the city or the, the encroachment zone they can knock down that fence yeah. so the the issue is 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 her fence is it legal fence? city property has this has it been checked like the, the line the, the property line the we just already went to assess okay. and what was their assessment to, for us to remove it to remove, remove the, the tree. tree right and remove the tree or cut the branches no remove no, the, no. It's no. the branches the are not what's causing that the yeah. roots so the right. yeah, 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 right. um so my worry in particular with this is that now parks goes back and reevaluates all landscape in all parks. I, mm -hmm. I, and I think that the reason that this lands on, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason this lands on, because that tree is in one of our parks, mm -hmm. right? So now are we expected to go back and remove it? And is what they're is what is they're, they're recommending. Or right. that we go back and check all the, the trees in no, the, the, the parks. Park. Like moving forward, how, how are we going to approach it with other other matters? Well, I think we have to fix this one first, and then, <laughs> and then figure that out how we move forward. Because if you move this one, then the, the everybody else. Yeah, we don't want to like move every tree. Yes. Yeah. Well, I definitely think that uh, as a parks board, you all could determine uh, with the duties of the tree board uh, criteria and requirements. Who selects the people on the tree board? We'd, it would be us, right? We'd be assuming we are, assume. we are the tree board. Yeah. yeah, we would be assuming with this change, we would be assuming yeah, 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 yeah. we're the tree I mean, responsibilities. We, we get two meals now. We get dessert. The next meeting starts at eight. <laughs> well, tell the tree board to hold on. <laughs> so, uh, I guess what they're requesting is for us to approve the change of the. Well, no, or it's it's where where we take over the. What is no, it? What is it was already stipulated that this board is no, no, the tree board. But the thing about it is we don't that have to vote on it. They already voted us in. We just didn't know about it. We just need to, I guess, Allison formally Parker approve it. Right. We don't need to approve anything. It's been approved by the city since two thousand seven. On top. So on, on this agenda point, it shows us. So so uh, so so we don't uh, sidetrack. So we're not approving that we are the tree board. We're being told that well, the tree board it. falls under the Parks and Rec board. Yeah, so, so <laughs> now we also act as a, the tree board for the city. So in this particular item, with this yeah. particular case, uh, there's no, did they see any, any alternatives? alternatives? No, Chris did not. Uh, those did are park? literally, I'm sorry? Did, you, did anybody from Parks check it out, like see what the options were? Yes. Could have done, unfortunately. And before we did that, we did definitely wanted to bring it to you um, because we did check with environmental, uh, we checked with this, we checked with our, our parks, our um, forester, and our, you know, unanimously the recommendation was to so question. remove the tree. Once this is removed, what further damage will it cause the, the fence? Because if you're going to remove it, you're not going to cut it. You're going to like pull it out with roots and all, right? Or would it just be a chop? And that's it. I would say, I would think it would be roots and stuff because you want to. As carefully as possible. Because once you remove, I mean, if you look, if you notice half that, the half the root ball is probably under that fence and on the other side of the Which is property. causing the, the whole thing yes. to live. So now let's remove it and fix the fence so she'll be happy. Well, that fence well, is going to fall. The fence, the fence is going to fall with the move of the tree. So, so um, there's two different cases in this particular one item. So I'm going to go case by case. Uh, the, the first um, was the one that the parks department just received the last few days. And if you look at it's one, uh, they're both in District 2. Uh, so let's address first the uh, Mrs. Osorio case that has the tree uh, damaging the fence. So let's address that one because so that's the one that was first submitted. That's the one we're talking about, right? Yeah, that's the one we're talking about. Um, 
Uh, another question. If, if the fence issue, once it's removed, let's say that in the process, the fence got damaged even. It's going to get damaged. Even more? Um, then what's next? Uh, that is definitely going to be a difficult question because I know that we've got. Um, I would say I would say not remove tree to cause further damage, but to fix the fence of what is the crack is if I get fixed and fill it. I, I I think, yeah, because I, I think you remove the tree that that you know, if it's not that it's in, in a couple of days, it'll that wall will come down. But that piece that piece. Will. Does she want? The tree to be removed, or she just wants her fence to be fixed. There's five trees. Oh. There's oh, there's five five trees. The They're all doing the same. No, two of them are doing. The other three are close enough that they will be doing. Eventually, they'll do. Yes, it. they're going to grow to that to that state. What we can do. Well, is get that's a case. The question: If if you're going to remove the trees and it's going to knock down the fence, why not knock down the fence and not put it so close to the tree? Both because if there's three trees that are doing the same well, thing. Well, I property. think what we can do, if you give us authorization and it's your recommendation for us to do so, we can definitely get, um, um, not quotes, but recommendations from landscapers. How would they do, I'm sure this has happened, I know this has happened before in other situations. Is there another way to do this? Because if it's not just one tree... That's just, I think we're opening up a can of worms because that's just one part. Go to the different parts. I know, like the one there on Martin, there's that baseball field and there's trees behind it. So, so are the neighbor's going to say, so hey, we should cut down every tree? No, I'm not saying to cut down every tree, but it's, what we're doing is we're setting. Well, if we're I, setting if we did it for you, we're going to have to do it for the yeah, yeah, that's all we're doing. The main, like, the main thing with this one is the fact that the trees are on her property. Is they're not on their property. They're on ours. They're, this this picture is taken so, from the park, not from inside. Okay, her yard. so, but the fence is on her property. Yes. Our trees are damaging uh -huh. her, yeah. her fence. Because usually, we well, understand. I mean, you just cut the branches, but in this case, you can't do that. It's the trunk. It's the it's the it's the the it's but the thing is, if we approve this one, yeah. Well, we're yeah. gonna have to approve everyone. But they're not. They're, they're, they're It's on a case by case basis. They're not all gonna be the same thing. Like some of them might be a branch that is moving, and that one, what do you do? Yeah, uh, like in this case, it's, it's the one that we need to remove it or whatever. But it's just not what's, one. What's tricky? Just not one there's tree, three though. other trees or four or five yeah. other trees. What's there. tricky in this particular case is that it's it's a cinder block fence. I mean, people pe people with chain link fence are going to start shutting up. You know, but or, or, chain link fence don't break. But 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 they're going to start. You know that all the you know. Bushes or stuff for the so trees. it's a slippery slope. You want to fix fences and keep trees, or you want to cut yeah, all the trees? Oh, wait, 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 question. You want to fix, you want to cut all the trees and still fix the fence, or you want to keep the trees and fix the fence anyway? You're gonna fix the fence one way or another. I'd rather keep the trees. You are, gonna, yeah, no, but you're gonna fix the fence whether you remove it or whether you leave it. So if you fix the fence, the tree continues to grow. Of course. And you'll fix it in five more yeah, years, and, and you'll fix it in five more years, years and you'll fix it in five more years. Now, the, the question is, do we have to vote, or can we get, like you said, hire somebody to, to, I can to, do that, to, so that we to can see what other alternatives are yeah. out there? I mean, well, I'm just one thinking... One way or the other, I think the trees are going to have to go, yeah. whether... At least the two that are closest yeah. to. We may be able to do something about the other three that, you know what, they're going to grow and eventually they're going to do the same we'll thing. Worry about that, so we'll worry about that in another. Yeah, because we can go around so right now. These two, I think they're going to, but at least we can find different ways and maybe they can come up with a different solution. But I think these two are probably real close to, yeah, I think that's what the decision is going to be. We may be able to save the last three. Is there a replacement plan if you do remove trees? I mean, you're going to tear this down, you're going to put it off, you're going to break it. Right. But can you plant three more? Somewhere else, you mean? Yeah, obviously not the same place, but I mean, like, it's a safer zone. <laughs>
But not next to that fence. No, no, no. You know what we can do? Uh, being the part four, you can definitely put that in um, requirement. Anytime the department has to remove a tree, it will be, be required to replace it with three other ones in the same part. That can be something that you can add into the... Uh, if you're the part... You're the chairman of the park. You are the, oh, the branch. You're the Woody Packer. <laughs> so, so if you look on page the article 12 2, it tells you what um, the parks board shall provide, what the requirements are. Is, is this is the, or, is the ordinance? Yes, ordinance page 2. Uh -huh. Look under chapter 23, section 2318, section 1. And it starts talking about um, inform itself of laws and policies correct. governing park Correct. So in this one in particular, the item we're discussing about the, the tree and the, the, the brick fence, I think that we must take action now, meaning that her first request to the city was back in March 30, 2022. Um, Two months ago? One time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure maybe that fence you know, that wall has to make that. Well, I think she, she got the, it went from department to department. It went to different people. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it's, it's one of those questions. So what do you do? You know, you really don't want to chop down the tree and whose responsibility is it? Is it the landowners, is it the, the cities? And so I think that um, for that reason, this question just bounced to different individuals. And so um, when Gloria Landine brought it to me, uh, you know, we started discussing it and, and trying to find out um, what we can do. And so we brought it before you all. No, I think definitely that it, there should be something stipulated that if you do remove one, you should replace it a minimum of 30 somewhere else in the park safely zoned from other homes. Okay. I mean, well, that's a good I idea. Uh... No, right now the tree was in a safety zone until she built the fence. And uh, Mr. Lauren, would you like that to be your recommend your motion? I uh, motion yeah. to add that if a tree has to be cut down or replaced because of any reason that is harmful to us, Laredo one's yeah, properties, right. but at whose cost? That what's well, going to be the city's anyway? No, because when it is going to be the city. But when you do a development, the developer is the one who pays for the trees. Oh, we're not talking about it now. We're de we're developing. But, but I'm we're saying talking like, about replacements. We're taking the cost of removing that tree, but then we're going to have to purchase three more trees. And whose budget is that going to come out of? Is mm -hmm. it going to come out of your all's budget? Is it going to like? There's a lot of okay. so there's a lot of I factors see, in there. Like, I see what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, who's going to pay for those repairs? I trees. guess it just depends on is it the neighbor landowner? Is it the landowner's tree that's causing you know? Well, this is almost because um, it's not because no. if not, you wouldn't be involved. Exactly, but this is right. I guess, I guess Rick, what it is is like if I have a tree on my property and it's my tree, oh, are you going to tell me to make it take no, it no, down? No, and it's no, like, no, 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 no. But this right. is no, no, the no. city's property, right? Yeah. So. The lady's saying, hey, this, the city's tree is messing up my wall. Right. Yeah, so we're, we're fixing it by removing the tree. Like, she's out of the equation. So now well, the thing is, your is question that of the budget, that's the a budget. budget. Like, that's for example, if, if, if we remove that tree, we're taking the expense, the city's going to remove the tree, and we're going to fix the wall. Yeah, looks that way. So then we're going to have to buy three more trees to replace that one. I know we have a budget that we work with. Well, the city's going to have to do that anyway because risk has already determined that it is um, trees on the city property that has damaged her fence. That and was so, that, that was going to be my question. That when risk went on and made the assessment, that the recommendation is remove the tree. Correct. Right? Who so, does that? You guys do. Risk you would have to. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they, they, the risk, risk doesn't oh, have the manpower. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah right. so it's so so parts of right. Yeah. Parks so, do you guys have Maybe a budget? Maybe developers, but I think that's in the land development. Yeah, yeah, that's in the I, land I know where you, were, yeah. where you were thinking, and I was trying to get there, but it wasn't landowners. It was but from the, the land development. Are... If you're going to develop a, a private property uh, for the community, 
and you're gonna have to start cutting down trees because the property line or whatever. Oh. So, but I think that's already in the land development code under. Correct. Like it's one. We voted on that before. Right? Yeah, yeah. That, okay. I remember we saw that okay. when I first okay. got on the board. So that's, that's already why I was addressed. Like, so now. But that's if you're developing. Yeah. Correct. This is if you're replacing. Okay. Yeah, like if you no, build it, if you start a development, you have to have so many trees. I was trees. just trying to <laughs> explain what. So I understood what he was saying. Yeah. Was, mm -hmm. Yes. So do you so guys have a budget for new arbor trees? You're we for your new tree board? We need a budget for a new board. We're up here. We're going to be a tree board. <laughs> we need a budget. For <laughs> trees. <laughs> you do have. We have a, a healthy budget under botanical under various divisions within the department. Okay. Uh, is it so. feasible to do that? Is it feasible? To add uh, something the three, in the... Three, like, like, let's say, yes. instead of three, three, three. Uh, All right, I guess yes. we can put it, we can it order is. it to where it's at parts discretion, whether it's one tree, three trees, ten Back. trees, or whatever. And yeah, we need to design some... <laughs> yeah, we need to design some... <laughs> you have a new board of yours, by the way. Congratulations. Congratulations, you have a tree board. A tree board. <laughs> we are the tree board. Are you there right now? Yes. Yeah, because my thing is Replace that if we can yeah. remove it, but then we're setting, like, oh. it, 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 you're thanks to Nixon or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Some, like for the cemetery part. Mm -hmm. right. Right. So right. So right. 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 Uh, but currently, in, in in place, the recommendation is that remove the tree. To cut down and, or replace? Remove. To replace the tree um, that needs to be cut down or replaced for any cost. What, what? But that's a recommendation of. Not mine. I mean, that's a recommendation of uh, the, the risk recommender. We shut it down. Yes. We chop right. it down. So, what but they're doing is you're. But my thing is, if you're going to replace trees, re I mean, if you're going to remove trees, replace them. Replace them. Replace them. Replace them. Yes. Within the same court. Yeah, that's good. But then uh, with that, and I know that I'm just thinking of all aspects of it, so. Um, but can we if, just if a tree gets struck down by lightning, do we have to replace those or like? That would be by. Yeah, well, that's, that's of nature. That's of nature. Force, yeah. force majeure. Can we just approve this? A, the whole force show, of nature. And then come back at the tree board and. Start discussing about replacing trees. But there is no, there, we're not approving anything, are we? Well, I think we're approving to move to yes. chop down the trees. So, so right now we're going to take a vote as soon as Mr. Ortiz gets back. Uh, we're going to take a vote to chop it up. <laughs> um, it, it, like the owner can be approached to replace it. Like move it right? That's why I was like, I look at the bottom line. In a lot of areas like North Central Park. Along the entire perimeter, we've got the same problem. And the interesting thing is, in North Central Park, not all of those fences are exactly on their property line. Right. There is some some are happens. a little bit in, and some are right. a little bit out. Yeah. So I think... Uh, That's what I was saying, look like at the survey. Because their, their walls were before the park, right? Because around the heights, mm -hmm. in some areas, if you go, I mean, there's no way you, you could build a sidewalk. On some yeah, because there's a big root or something. Like <laughs> yeah, oh, there's yeah, a yeah. big root or something. Root. Now that's not the city's uh, portion because it's not a park, right? But but you know even here downtown, I walk. This the trees all. Yeah, they just the bagel company. The last time, when was the last time you went? Okay, uh, three years ago. On Monday? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were still there. No, on Monday. It's right. there at the, at the Riata next to the pharmacy. Mm. From the Promolina. <laughs> There's a pharmacy downtown? Yeah. <laughs> 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 next to the... <laughs> Mr. Ortiz is back, so we're going to take action on the on the motion by Mr. Laurent to... No. 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 Well, I'll make a motion that we, we motion chop motion. down what risk recommended, and um, I don't want to be on the front page that I hate trees or this and that, but it's recommended by risk. Upon the assessment down, of risk, yes. yeah, upon the assessment of risk, um, 
We, chop, just, we chopped down that tree. And that's but it for I, I don't hate trees. So I want it to be on the record. I love trees. To help <laughs> save the fence, potentially, these trees are to be removed at the section of uh, 2704 Diaz Dryden Park. Mm -hmm. I second the motion. There's a motion and a second by Mr. Ruiz. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any against? One against. Mr. Donnell is, is against. So is this a removal of that one? No, you already made the motion. No, 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 all the assessment, the, the recommendation wise, the first two, yeah. because yes. the first two yes. were the closest, and they were the co ones. The That's closest. what I'm recommending. Yeah. The other three, you said we can you probably have someone assess it, yes. see what we need to do. You just made a motion yeah. to tear down all the trees and all the parks. Yeah. Yeah. All the yeah. 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 Let's start putting up cactus. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to look like Arizona. So that motion approves. To remove two? The one risk management. The risk assessment provides the recommendation. So it's going to be the one on uh, Mr. Garcia. No, it's the one on I think we're on two or two the Myra. And then the other one. Oh, Who's communication? The other one here. Uh, All right. Um, what, what? If we can go back to the item. Let's vote to reopen the item. I vote. I make a. I vote to reopen the item. Motion. Second. motion second. We're gonna uh, reopen back the item because the item particularly reads discussion possible action on the removal of five mature trees affecting a private fence. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same house. Though. Yeah. Right now we'll get to same the park. Other. Same house. Same. same well, park. No, same house. Different parts. <laughs> <laughs> One's on the central. The other is on the but we're we're discussing this one in particular, the one with the with the brick fence yeah. again. Yeah, the, the picture. The motion, uh, risk, the assessment that was made by risk is that the five trees be removed. Is that five trees? Now my recommendation is to remove the two that we have the complaint. Only two. Remove two? Yes, the one here for I guess. Uh, but that's not the way. Miss Orozco contact. I know, I know, but I'm saying yeah, we, can, but we can modify. We can modify. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would say we do this Orozco's, Osorio's, I'm sorry, and um, Mr. Garcia, those two, because it seems like those are the ones. It's a different, correct? Yeah. It's a different. But Mr. Osorio, the recommendation yeah, is, it, your motion first. is to remove two trees out of the five? Yes. Because the other three trees, from what I was informed, was that Let's study, see what we can do. We can move them to a different location, not just chuck them they, They're not causing any... No, not yet, damage. but eventually they are. Yeah, we'll let another board deal with it. Right now, the three were farther away from the fence. Is that correct? It was the first two that risk management said those are the ones that are licking. They recommend to do all of them because the other ones are close to the fence. But they weren't the ones that causing the damage at that time. I'm saying those two, the main two, let's let's get our axes and chainsaws and let's take them down. Okay. But the other three, the next meeting, can we place them somewhere else in the park? Can we remove them without, because they haven't damaged the fence yet. Yeah, just the ones that are causing the Just the ones that are causing the damage. Can we make a recommendation and perhaps remove the ones that are actually causing the physical damage right now? Yes, yes that's what I'm recommending. And not use a number? Just in case Correct. it's two or three, or three or yes, or okay, let's do that. Any, do any that? trees currently causing damage, damage of, to, to that brick fence no be removed? No, no number on there. Because yes. I guess it, the, the other thing is that what if it's causing damage on one of them and they haven't called it in yet? Correct. So we got to go through your assessment Correct. and figure okay. out which trees need to go. Uh, so that's covered, and that covers the case for Mrs. Osori. Um, there's another particular case presented by Mr. Garcia. Mr. Garcia, District 2, that states that the trees growing in the Park and Creek area are damaging his fence. He's requesting the trees be removed. Mr. Garcia called center to request removal of trees that are growing along 
the side of his property and damaging his fence. There's a park directly behind the residence and a creek on the side. Mr. Garcia is requesting that they go speak to him at his residence and he has been attempting to get someone, but that has not been addressed since we are is here. That, is that the second free? And that's no, the, the second. second it's, it's, it's a different case. It's, it's a different case. I guess it doesn't have a part. It doesn't have a picture, right? And this one doesn't have a picture. This one was just submitted to the Parks Department a few days ago. Um, well, we need pictures. We waited six. <laughs> we waited ninety days for the other one. So, would you make a would you make a motion to table this item? Motion to table. Next meeting. You want pictures? We want pictures. We yeah. want pictures. Yeah. And for an assessment to be done to see I'm how much that work. Risk, risk also made the same assessment. <laughs> Not on this one. This, this oh, one. yeah. Well, then no. I for risk to give a recommendation and then for okay. us to see the pictures. Okay. I did better, so I'll take pictures on my way home. <laughs> so we'll table the, the item for the next, uh, next week. Great. So to close this item, um, Motion. We vote with, I second the motion to table the item. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against none, motion passes. Okay, so that was uh, item number two. Now, uh, bullet point number seven, number seven, staff reports. <clears throat> number one, the maintenance and operations cost of the fields. <laughs> they, have it, they have it in the park? In the, in the park? Yes. yes. All of that would be important to me. <laughs> and have lunch. Yes. Oh wait, maintenance and operation? Yes. No, it's the 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 one that I that I did there. Yes. Maintenance and they have it there. Yeah. 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 They install softball fields maintenance. The green. So stuff. at the last meeting, I know that this question came up, and so. We wanted to provide you with an, uh, a number, uh, and this is only softball and baseball fields. So if you go through it, um, fertilizer seed, Diamond Pro, we spend 37000 We have 58 fields, by the way, baseball and softball fields. So, and soccer. No. no. Oh, this no, is no, no, baseball and softball fields. Okay. Baseball, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was what the discussion was on last uh, meeting. Um, for all the fields, we pay thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. For fertilizer seed and. Correct. For materials, equipment such as bases, paint, conditioners, closers, carts, pitcher mounds, we pay seventy-four thousand two hundred dollars. Um, red topsoil, marble dust, thirty-four thousand. Irrigation for the fields, twelve thousand. Totals $158,000 a year to maintain just those baseball softball fields. And how much do we charge the leaks? 50 cents? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, as you know, and, we, and the reason we brought this up, <laughs> uh, board precedents. So the reason we brought this up because the leaks, we had to issue with the leaks when we met last time, is that starting next year, they want to start. Right now, we don't charge the leaks. If they're, if they're non profit, they're probably won't see while this checklist is going on. They get yeah, we're <laughs> So they don't, they don't get charged. It's, it's a free. Council next year is saying for the leaks to pay $10 as of right now. Per kid. Per kid. Do they charge the kids? They charge the kids, yeah. Of course. Yeah, they charge the kids. They, they might not be anywhere for profit. Anywhere from $100 to they $75. They might not be for profit, but they make money. Right. So, and then we start getting the calls. Hey, it was our field. You know, and we try to work as much as we can, but in the contract says that. Once we give you over the field between March 1st and November the 1st, it's your, it's your responsibility. We'll go in there and take, you know, vamos a mantenemos algo, algo, algo grande pase, si quiero una, una línea o algo, we'll get. But the maintenance, the maintenance and operation of every day is the league's responsibility. According to the contract that we have in our contracts. A lot of people don't know that. They, they just Did you guys check them? Like they are, that they are following through? Well, well. Fertilizer and water. And no, 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 no. We we, we do that. We do, do that. Like yeah. this is the the cajon. Right? Yeah. They make. Like make let's say in. let's say like every day there's a game and tomorrow they have to drag and pint out otra vez and all that stuff. That's their deal, right? Mm -hmm. We go in there. We fertilize the field up three times a year during during, during spring, Seasons. summer, and fall. Yeah. So that's what we that's what they cost us. So I guess what's coming here is that just how much we spend about one hundred sixty thousand. 
just talk baseball and softball, mm -hmm. right? And yet we don't get anything back in return because we don't, we don't charge the league. We're not the leagues are not paying anything. You know what I'm talking about? So you know, I know we got a couple of discussions. We showed you last time that some some um, I, I don't can exact I can't recall exactly what city they say you know they'll charge them uh, five hundred dollars a season per field. Right, so if you have three fields, five thousand five hundred, and then that money goes back into the operations. Into the, the, the operations, the right? Operations. Yeah, fifty-eight, right? Under fifty-eight. Yeah, that's yeah. about fifty-eight, right? So you know, so some leagues, hey, you know what? We lease them to you, corpus. I think it's corpus. We lease them to you. You charge them everything at the end of the season. Give me back a key, you know, to the, and park sure to get the. It's a, but right now, this is what we spent, and at no charge to the leagues. And the biggest thing that we get is they don't pay us taxes, right? Yeah. But that's I mean that's yeah, that's, but, that's, that's, um, but, but that's the taxes. Are yeah, when that kid breaks his leg, the ambulance is gonna take him out, <laughs> right? So, so because then the taxes are divided among not just school and city and yeah, the the, county. In the city itself, it goes to the police, the fire, and the park. And what I don't understand is that we're trying to understand is that a lot of these teams. Pay money to go play in travel ball. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you go pay five hundred, seven hundred dollars to go play. Must the expenses of hotel, uh, hotel, hotel gas, and you know, everything. So, se te va a ir fácil on a weekend. Se va a tener six hundred dollars at least. Yeah. So yeah, we want to charge. You know, let's say twenty dollars or fifteen ten dollars. <laughs> Whenever we fertilize seed and all that, we shut down the field for a month or two mm -hmm. so that no one gets on there so that it grows. Or like right now we're going to for two days and that's it, you know, because we got to get, get, yeah. get the field going. It's but I'm saying they, maybe there should, be, there should be a place <laughs> where it's like, hey, this, because I noticed that was always an issue with the soccer fields that you're always playing on dirt because Parks and Rec would go out there plant, but if you're running back and forth or whatever. Slaughter field is a perfect example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there it's slaughter. We have three fields at slaughter, we have three soccer leagues, and a flag football league. <laughs> I turn I turn around, I said, we should turn sure. that thing and see. Yeah, just turn. Just turn. Mm -hmm. just well, we because that, that's one of the, the issues where I feel like we're <laughs> throwing away 158000 because you're not letting it grow. Like, you're not letting the, the maintenance. Well, what would it cost for a baseball field to get turned? And we were to do the three... For example, to me, you ask me, what's your, we need to turn slaughter, because okay. that thing is used yeah. mm -hmm. every day, Sunday to Sunday, mm -hmm. 4 o'clock to sundown, so yeah. 10 o'clock next. Most of the money we figured about what, about 3.5 million, 3.6 million for the three fields. We get 1.2 million per field, yeah. and there's three fields there. About 3.56. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for three fields. Our profits. Well, I'm chopping down trees and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Do we have one in the... No, but I'm thinking like, hey, you know, the road wasn't built in a day. Do one, one field first. Right, right. Tree board elf. Tree board elf. So I'm just saying, like, maybe we do it in phases where you, you, you turf one of them, and that way when you're We're knocking down the planting or getting the... Because I uh, have people coming in from out of town. It's like, how do they play out here? The, the fields are horrible. Oh, oh, oh. And, this is, and it's like, it's not us. It's because you can go and plant and do whatever you need it's to do, it, yeah. but they're not letting they're not letting it do its course. They're not letting nature take its course. Yeah, because you you're done with the soccer, like you said, you're done with the soccer season. You know, then they're out there playing flat football, or you know, they're out there playing. No, we're not done. It runs concurrent. Oh, it runs concurrent. But no, what happens is that that um, you, you, it may not even be a league, but hey, let's get yeah. together on Sunday and yeah. go, go play. There's right. nobody out there. And let's face it, the radio weather no not no even. And of course, if we were to yeah. do that, we'll let all leagues play there. No más se que voy a ir. playing, but, but it's, it's a headache. It is a headache. And, hey, I mean, I can feel, I can feel, but you know, really playing on it. From four in the afternoon to eleven o'clock at yeah. night. Every know? day. But then they complain the field's horrible. Well, let, let, it, let, it, let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. It's like the schools. All the schools have got yeah. yeah. artificial. L I Z. All the schools have it. Yeah. Artificial. So. And I guess what we can do is is maybe folks like in our budget for so, next year say, yeah. hey, let's try to do three or four fields a year. So, so I guess so what we're trying to do here. Yeah, right. What we're trying to do here, Rick, is that. You know, in, in talking to your council, hey, wait a minute, there's expenses that come into as far as 
you know, not maybe teams play for free, you know. And, and then on top of that, we covered electricity, water, light, and all that stuff. It, it, uh, I think it's the real. They charge it, from the seat of the contract. They charge electricity and water to the leagues. And I, I promise you, they'll, they'll cut down on the games and practices, you know. And again, I'm not trying to stop and play because you all know the coach and I want to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you want them out there. Yeah. yeah, I want them out there. It's just that uh, now when you <laughs> when you come to the administrative side, is the side is only someone's got to write the check. Right, right. Like, damn, you know, now you're know. responsible for the check. And, <laughs> and I think that bottom line, and and because the entire time that I've been on this board, we've had this discussion of um, the fields back and forth and ideas how we can send it. I think that as a board. We need to sit out and just send the recommendation that we have you there. Some particular recommendation for the future of, of all needs across the board. And that way it's addressed in a matter well, that, 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 this, a water yes, sir. That, that this board is not anti-legal. This board wants the needs to be out there, but we just want it to be a fair, a fair right. shot. Because so, at, the, at the end of the day, the city so needs to make you. also back the expense parts of it. Yeah, we all pay taxes, we contribute to, but not all the taxes just go to parks and parks. So back to the, real quick, I hate to step back up. Thank you so much. What, do these leagues offer security also? Security? <laughs> <laughs> no, but once you make that recommendation earlier today, I think that that should be then taken back, taken back to council where it's added on the league's contract. contract because we we talked about it earlier about if if I want to have a tennis tournament or volleyball or basketball or whatever mm -hmm. baseball soccer whatever tournament mm -hmm. and I want to rent your or lease or whatever it is use your field to come and get your permission mm -hmm. then I need to be sure that they're secure armed security mm -hmm. just like Before if I were to go get if you want what, like if I were to have a concert a concert at yeah. a baseball stadium right. right yeah or uh, it was a kind of security right right armed security. We'd have to amend the, the ordinance, and now how things are right now. I guess I guess this ordinance is old, you know. So, uh, and I don't think anybody right now would say no to that ordinance. But at the renters or the it's users, it's not, not at the right, 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 right. And the part of show me, yeah, you have security for how many? That's for how many? And I think that's where, where we put in the previous one, where it's like they go to the chief and say, "Hey, for so many people, we need so many officers mm -hmm. for this event." So we were estimating that least at a baseball game, you're going to get a hundred people, mm -hmm. including kids. Family, right. What have you? Like I was saying, like slaughter field, slaughter park. Sometimes you have every field being used. Yep. Parking lots, pads. You just can't have one. And this like, is like our soccer. Yeah, in a football. Yeah. There's always, there's always. I mean, that's and, and, and we're glad to see that. Oh yeah, and yeah. yeah. And, and and I think um, when you go back to usage, I think that data always is the best formula mm -hmm. to anything mm -hmm. because when, when when you're gonna when, when you're, you're gonna move on to doing the, the you know redoing the fields to turf converting them which user which fields are the ones being used right? well, I tell you oh, yeah. I pay taxes it goes yeah that's that's what I'm paying yeah. this 160,000 with your taxes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that you get to use it right right right, right. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and honestly I think the whole, for the cities that we study correct me if I'm wrong only one city does that, not to where they, what we do, is they kind of give it for everybody, some kind of charge some kind of fee. You know? Now, Coach, how, why is it that you go to other parks and stuff, in San Antonio and mm -hmm. other cities, like, the fields are green and it's mm -hmm. grass, it's not, you know, right. it's not artificial. Right. And I'm thinking, well, do they shut down leagues for one or two months for maintenance, or do, do they, like, I'm just saying, like, yeah. It's weird because you go outside of Laredo and you see the the nice right. fields. Right. Yeah. Uh, to answer your question on that, I think <laughs> I think this is just here. The leagues take ownership of that field as well, and they don't just don't wait on the city to come in. Oh, the talk of tennis court, I'm in New York, I'm in New York. Hey, man, you know, oh, take a little, take yourself out. Right here, you bring me to the bunch. Hey, it's the end, the end. But the one who is the Murero is the city, and the other is now that I'm on this side of that, that's exactly the mentality that we have. Can you enforce something? Can you yeah, enforce something? yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can, we can enforce something. We got to put it in the contract. So well, we're gonna sit down in July and go over the whole contract. And as a matter of fact, we might bring, we might bring you the mm -hmm. the new contract that's gonna be offered to them next year. So and you know what? Add or delete on here. 
So, and, and I know that we're on the, the portion presentation of this uh, as your as your report, but I think that that's something for us to consider for next next item. Next item. Is, 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 uh, uh, now that we're addressing this, is that we look as the next item to be addressed that we sit down and re, we reevaluate the ordinance currently in place for these leagues that include the contracts, right. that everything's going up, you know, um, especially the, the tools and items that you all utilize to keep up these, to upkeep these fields. So, I mean, we're gonna talk about fees, have, have uh, that particular section where we're able to address fees, we're able to um, address uh, the recommendation uh, to follow up with the recommendation that Mr. Lavelle made that his, on his, his uh, request. Um, uh, aside from this current uh, report that we're, we're uh, receiving on the maintenance and operations of the fields. Right. And I think uh, once we come up with a new contract for next year, we would like to get it for your approval. Just for we go to we go to council. And this was a this was just a. Uh, uh, it's going to be a new item for that. This was just this day. This was also swung by the Forge Board. Yes, and that way they can understand. That way you all can talk to your council members today. We saw the contract, man. It's not all that it might. It's not that it might. It's somewhere we just have to Yeah. It's got a, I mean, well, the amount of ridiculous fees that, to make sure that to some of these the leagues charge like, to be on the travel teams and stuff like that. And people are paying it. But well, why not pay us so that way we'll give you a decent it's deal to, yeah. to, to play on? Yeah. Uh, that's right. It, it's because, I mean, like, I hate, I see some of the Argentina, right? We were going to charge $5 at the LA for parking, $5. Yeah. And they, when you got a big old pushback because they didn't know it, the Riemana Contra de Almo Dome going down $25 to park with Amiya y Media and $50 to park ahí para ver a Enrique Iglesias. And the same people that are right behind yeah. $5. You know? And then everybody was parked along with 20 And then yeah. nobody was going to pay it. <laughs> Well, uh, just it's just the, the, the mindset that we yeah. have. But but you know what? Well, I, I, I think the way we have to look at it is we raise the standard to be here, and if you can keep this, if you can get to that standard, then you have no business in conducting, uh, creating a league or trying to do something or you know that we raise the standard and then the standard is for you to be. Should sure, remove the parking cost at the at the River Drive Mall. And put the parking bus <laughs> at the base <baseball laughs> and, and, and the stadium. <laughs> and, and again, and I guess I'm looking at it also as a former court. I'll give, it, I'll give an example. Outlets. <laughs> yeah. we, we had the Pony World Series uh, in 2018. We know about 120 teams, okay? From Louisiana all over Texas, right? So, you know, I look at the little things, right? And so the games are finished, right? The game's finished. You had Laredo versus, and I, and I, I remember exactly, it was Laredo versus Leander. All right? Now, the game finished, right? Laredo got their bags, put everything in there, left, and the image back, Leander, before they got to the bags, they went to go pick up all the trash. Yeah. They went to pick up all the trash, and I went to go talk to coach, appreciate it. Hey, we got a simple rule, and that, what's that? You all did it cleaner than when we got here, than when you got here. And that's, that's, that was my biggest pet peeve. But uh, Islam and that we have, and, and, you know, the inner side up here, and I hate yeah, to say that. It's going to be okay if people, they're saying people go park early, they rope off sections for the relatives to come by later, and, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, it's a battle, though. When we start charging next year, whatever we're going to charge, well, I'm out of there. Well, I think that's the standard, and, and yeah, maybe we won't hear the music here, it's going to be across the <laughs> but um, <laughs> on the other side, that's going to so be the standard, yeah. and I think that you just you just have to. We got to set the standard. Yeah. We need a rule. Yeah. We'll say no. Where the tree department? <laughs> <laughs> not, not a, <laughs> arbor, the arbor board. The arbor board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to show you that because that was brought up. And we talked about. Yeah, we didn't talk about the actual content. But we will bring you next time, or oh, if some. Well, we will bring you once we meet with the with the for the new contract, and we'll show it to you all to see what the leagues have to do and what we got to do, and, and, and you know, have another set of eyes, you know, so that we can make sure that we all can see it, and talk to your board members, council members. I'm sorry. And hey, yeah, you know, it's time to, it's time to. Yeah, it's cosa de gratis. They might just suggest after November, but, but yeah. <laughs> well, the contracts go out. The contracts go out actually at, at around end of November, so. 
Yeah. Election will be done. No, the, 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 perfect. <laughs> election will be done. Uh, Funny how that works. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Coach and, and the staff for that. Um, uh, item number two from the staff report, the, the sports complex status update. Okay. I'll take over here. I think that's you got to do that's, that's, that's not on here, no, it's in the It's in the And I can it down. I know. Where are we This one? This one, isn't it? No. It's in the back. Oh, okay. It's in the back. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, Okay, as you all know, uh, it looks like, yeah, we're moving forward with the, with the sports complex. Um, you want to give you an update? Um, another part. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> another part. <laughs> You're going to add 100,000 more for the No, it's all turf. Oh, they're all. Ooh, nice. These are all going to be turf. That was one of my biggest. That was my biggest. You know, look, guys, whatever we do here, we do not have the people to be maintaining. Oh, all these 10 fields and pods, and you have people coming from out of town to come. Plus, not only that, and I told them, if you want to bring in tourism, and it, let's compare apples with, our, uh, apples with apples, not apples with oranges, Eagle Pass, Corpus Christi, has all turf fields. So, you are all going to go there, you know, yeah. so, so, this is the overall master plan, all right? Um, this is what we call a pod. All right, this is a complex one. A pot means there's five fields. All right, clover, or I'm sorry, a clover, I'm sorry. This is a clover, a clover. These are pods. And the pod, when we say pod, that these fields are multi-purpose fields. Soccer, Soccer football, flag football, rugby. And then even in San Antonio, and I told the designer, even in San Antonio, they have like this, and then in the corner right here, and in the corner right there, they got a baseball infield so little kids can play there. Oh. And then they put a temporary fencing. So now it's really a multi-purpose reason for that. So right now, what we're looking at, which is the 32 million that got passed, is for phase one. Phase one is two two clovers, which is clover complex one and complex two, and then one pot, which is one pot equals to two multi-purpose fields. That's for the 32 million. That's the 32 million. million. Right. But the hardest thing that is this is that there is no infrastructure over there. It's mountain, mountain, no land. This dry mountain land over there. So running the electricity, running utilities, running everything over there is going to be the the, 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 the most expensive. The most expensive. Where, the part. Roof on this? Okay, so if this is Pita Magana Road okay. right here, oh, wow. and the loop is and the right. okay. runs through here, and I'm just going to give you a little. All right. Pita Magana goes, ends right here, and then you gotta take Cuatro Vientos, is that correct, right? Yeah. You come in from Zapata, Pita Magana hits right here. Pita Magana will be extended, and this is gonna be the southern part, parallel to Pita right. Magana. Well, well, the only only the bottom spaces, parking spaces, will be the first section? Yes, no, this and this. Mm -hmm. well, all, all, most yes, of the parking. These two parking spaces will be available. Okay. And then over no okay. there, No, that's phase two, that's correct. So then phase two, Phase two, and the way, by the way, the dental ponds or existing ponds are there right now. Phase two is another clover, mm -hmm. five sets of fields, and two pots. Okay? And just recently, just on Monday, the Kimberly Horn got got the new bid for the water park, uh, for the water park that's gonna be there now. That's now, what we, that's what yeah. Yeah, now when we say water park, don't think it's a slitter bond or, yeah. or you know something. It's not council wants it affordable, it's something that Hey, I can go take my family for eight dollars or ten dollars, and it's something reasonable. But at the same time, people that come play here, while they're away, they can go play and they can do the uh, the, the, play, the splash pad or I'm sorry, the, 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 the water park. park. Whatever that is. water park. That water park will be done after all this is complete. This is first phase one. Phase one and this, two. This one is two clovers mm -hmm. and one pot. Right. Phase two is yeah. Plan wise, what this, are you looking at? This and the oh, aquatics. Okay. That's part of phase two. Time wise. Okay, so phase one, they already started moving dirt. We have the official groundbreaking at the end of this month. June 30, I think it is. Please, please 
from from everybody to be there. Yeah, we'd like to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely get invited to one. So you need to make plans. We'll send you the invite. Can you use the shirt? Uh, so and yes, you have to wear your shirt before. So. Uh, what kind of shirt was the tree? No, 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 the bidders, you know, were all qualified, but the selected bidder for that was very qualified because very cool. they work building water parks all over. So the idea that, that we suggested is that they have that they include something about the city that will identify that water park to us and that to make it affordable and a good size for the Will it also be park. run by the city? That's a good question. You beat me to the punch. <laughs> so currently on Friday at ten in the morning, right? We have a pre-bid meeting for a management company to run the complex. Good. Okay? Now, this management company can do two things. They're going to run maintenance and operation and promote tournaments to come in and at the same time run the aquatic centers. Now, some management companies know about baseball and football, no. but nothing no. about aquatic. So we're going to leave it open to where, hey, you know what, we might get one for the sports part of it, and then one management company for the for the for the water. Okay. But so you been having a thickles issue or right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't. Know. <laughs> you know what I mean? We <laughs> thought about that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah no, I don't know that issue. Where but but different. I think. I mean, hope. I mean, yeah, yeah. We thought about that. We thought about that. <laughs> but it's kind of this is kind of I don't know what it's on its own. This, this is a total. You know, who knows who runs the water park and how to bring it. Most of the time, most of the time, the studies that we did, when it's run by by municipalities, by the cities, it doesn't work. You lose money. When it's run by somebody that knows how to run, you know, how to bring in and how to, that's when you make some money. Okay. I, yeah, and I think that at first that should that, that should be the route. That should right. Be. Now I'm also going to let you know that in making calls to other cities, okay, and making calls to other cities that have sports complexes. I think we called at least, Gloria did the calling, I think we did about eight to ten cities, Gloria, that we call the yes. Sports Complex, mm -hmm. and none of them are run by a management company. All, one. Only one, Ryan, Texas. And they're barely starting. And it just they, barely they started. They run it themselves. The city runs it itself. Yeah. It has its, the city kind of has its, it's under the park department, it, but it has its own that different be, division that just That was going to be my question. When it falls under the city, it falls under, because then you have tourism, the CVB, you have... The parks. Who would take? Who would take the lead if it if it was the city? If it was the, the parks, park. there's no. I don't think there should be anybody else. But okay, parks. there'll be a hybrid. It's what a hybrid. <laughs> and what I mean by hybrid is this. And that's like Dr. Martin put Dr. Martin put this on the agenda. Marketing and you have to have somebody that knows marketing and somebody that knows sports operations, right? Sport operations and all that. Mm -hmm. So the only one, and I, I, I'm gonna the only city that I know that has that hybrid that has. CVB with sports tourism is Ron Rock. Yep. Okay, Ron Rock has a division uh, or a department that does CVB with people that know sports. And they kind of report to both CVB and they kind of report both to Parks and Rec. But that only, you got, you got a guy actually that knows sports and then you got a guy or lady that knows how to uh, promote tourism and all and, that and, other and stuff. In my, and in my opinion, and I think that that, it, for example, with us, I mean, Coach, you're very familiar with, you know, and I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, throw it sure, on no, no, no. the parks, but you're very familiar with, with tournaments and sure. who would be the person that you could go to oh, yeah. and sell that product away. I can call three, yeah. you trip with say Super Series, and Nations. You call those guys right off the bat, hey, look what I have. In a heartbeat, you're going to have people lined up for these tournaments every weekend from Friday night to Sunday night. And it's going to be packed with kids and then hotels, restaurants, everything coming. If you have the contacts, Correct. And you have yeah. a, and, and you know who to who to call. And at that point that's why I said put people in the right place that's and it'll succeed. That's and, correct. And with, with you all knowing that. Yeah. And I think and I think it's gonna come back in the agenda on the might be coming in two weeks from now. 
and you know, you're all more than well welcome to come and or or and talk about that because it is who who are we going to put in there? You know, I'd love to have it under parks because we know. I mean, I guess I'm in the position that I know what's going to go. You have now, manpower for that? No, no, I don't have manpower. We would have to hire. We would have to hire just a so so that, 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 that just that doesn't get moved around. No, around 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 no hey. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, because you know, and, and 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 be able to run this good thing. And that's why and I and I told you heard me say this over and over again, is when you build something, because I and I keep my, my, my peers, it's all about money, they want to save money, and they want to cut the cost. You know where they want to cut the cost? They want to cut the cost on the fields. And I told them, you build from the inside out. There's two things you don't negotiate in, the field and the lights. Nobody's gonna come because you got here. Yeah. The Raiders got concessions that are not Yeah. All right. Yeah. Those teams from out of town are gonna come because you got bad. You got some nice fields. fields to play. Not because you got nice concession stands or you got a great restroom. All mm-hmm. right. So, so that's the mindset I'm trying to teach and, I, and to tell my my peers here to see. And if we're gonna cut 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 somewhere else, but don't cut it on the fields and yeah. on the lights. Because yeah. that's yeah. what's gonna bring. Have you the, seen Round Rocks? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Oh, centers. It's awesome. Oh yeah, they're up to thirty-two fields now. It's awesome. And then right next to it, they built the softball, football softball complex. It's turf, grass, turf, grass. And the Round Rocks, they're. Oh no, I mean, no. if they manage everything, then kudos to the city because I, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was the, the yeah. private. No, no, no. No, no that's. They have a high. And, and you're right with that, coach. I mean, you can build the best concession stand there, but once you know, if developers see across the street. A, a space being sold. I mean, Whataburger can come into town and build one there. Oh yeah. They're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go buy a burger that I know of, and then right. take a risk and spend 15 bucks on right. this one that I don't. And, and like, and for example, I'm just gonna kind of throw this up. Well, you know what? We gotta build a con- we gotta build a concession stands here, concession stand here. And you know how those things get expensive. You know what? Build an area for a food truck. Whenever they determine the food trucks come, yeah. put that money in the concession stand into the field. Yeah. yeah. We get the food trucks. Everybody, you know, you got your vendors you know, lined up. You got an area park for rent for for concessions. I'm sorry, for food trucks. And <coughs> hey, we, that money that we have to spend, of course, put rest of that. But don't 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 put all these big old concession stands. But we can use that money, bring in food trucks for an area, yeah. and let the people buy food trucks. What's yeah. that spot right there with the red, pink rocks or pink circles? Splash pad. A little splash pad, oh. just to kind of get wet. You know, the little the water features. Any shade? In areas. Yeah, look, look, look at it. There's gonna be a shade. Now this is this is a beautiful. This there's all this is gonna be shade because there's more than enough trees there, you know. So so you know teams play. They wanna hang out to work, and that's trees. Where gonna, there's, yeah, look up and down. Which ones are they gonna move into? We did not approve that. And then the indoor sports center. We're gonna put one in center field. We're gonna put one in center field. I'm gonna go right now. So center field. So now we're asking, what is it? So phase three. The picture is an indoor it. facility that you're going to host. I mean, up at Ron Rock has one too. It's called the Sports Center. Great. All right. Yeah, volleyball, have basketball. Hmm? Have you been out there? Indoors. No, any no, indoor no. sport that you can think of. You got to go out. It's run through there. And they, so now you have tournaments. The you volleyball, know, basketball, 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 Yeah, it's called the Sports Center. That's what you're talking about? Yeah. And we were there this, this year. It was awesome. That's what they're going to build here. This is phase three. Phase three. That's phase three. How big is it going to be? That's not too big here. It, no, it doesn't have to be too big here. But you're looking about, from what I saw, it's kind of the, the sketch, you're looking about, uh, I think it said 10 to 12 basketball volleyball courts that you can convert into. No, 10, 12 courts that you can go this way and then you can break Brown it down. Brown Rocks has 24 volleyball courts that can convert into, I believe was nine basketball courts, mm-hmm. that can convert into one major championship center court, right. like with the pull yeah, out yeah. and everything. Yeah. Really you just gotta get an idea. With the dividers. Come west of the plot, did I tell you, but you put an infield right here, you put an infield with, it's turf anyways. Mm-hmm. You know, you just put the tick marks for all these different sports, but at the same time, you got, you got big tournament, you put the little ones here and they play. Keep and just get a, yeah, keep on. And, and, I, and I saw that idea in San Antonio. Antonio has that. Antonio High School uh, has a company. They have, a, they have a, something similar to this. This, this part over here looks bigger. The fields look bigger. Is it? Oh, okay. So, you not know, man, I, with, no, with no putting everybody down, their mentality was, my, my peers here, my, my, was let's build, let's build these 10 fields at 265 feet. Fences. That's 
That, that what's, means what's the high school at? Right, yeah. three, minimum three hundred. So I said, okay, wait a minute. We're kind of cheating ourselves in the foot because if you do, that means that only kids twelve and under can play here. Okay. Oh, but uh, I, we can't build ten high school fields because it's a lot of money on turf. Okay. So I knew, made them understand that. Let's make because remember, I can always bring the fence in, but I can't move the fence back. All right. So what we decided was in every clover. There's going to be two high school fields of 300 feet, three of 300 down the line and, and uh, 400 down the center. Damage it for border Olympics, whatever we want to use. So now you bring in the 12 and unders, you can if bring, we bring in, in 12 and under, like All we do is yeah. we put the temporary fencing, the bases are removable, we got kick marks, we go in there and we put it up. Did you turn into soft, soft ball field? My name? Softball for the road? Softball, I mean, yeah. The mound. They would also have to softball. Mm -hmm. Softball, they all play at 200. So all these fields, you put, you put all the temporary fencing at 200. The key is to put the tick marks different bases and different. Mm -hmm. So what size is this complex three? This one has the same thing, two high school fields and three. Oh, the same thing. Fields, okay. same thing. So every every pot would have two two high school yeah, fields. Like you said, it does look a lot bigger. <laughs> See, you know, it looks bigger. Yeah. Oh, oh, because originally like, they were going to wait for phase two. To build the high all school baseball field. fields, all high school fields. Oh. That's why. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is what. And I, no, 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 no. So we're never. Was like, see, man, we're never gonna get anybody yeah. high school field. You're only. You can only play the complex if you're 1200. Yeah. How many fields? Or, that means good board. Every school can use it. Or How many else? fields are used right now for border Olympics baseball? Uh, we have we have to use high school fields. So, so we have, we have we have 50 teams that come and play. So we we use 12. 12 fields. So that would automatically uh, That's four uh, fields accommodate. The, yeah, we get the fields out of, right now we're using Alexander United High School practice fields. That parking lot is better than the field. You know, so that would now we can bring them over here. And another thing, this is just, if the Deco stay, they want to bring, they want to do their spring training here and bring three other teams to come do the spring training here and do spring training here. And then among themselves, they start in those four fields. Two and two, that's all they were like practicing. And then have their <laughs> exhibition game. When they're going to have a big exhibition game, they go to unit trade. But they will have their own practices, their practices here. There's already three teams committed to coming and doing that. So it's a possibility that we could lose the Tecos? Well, there's negotiations that are still need to get cleared. The, the, the contract was all one sided. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now they're trying to. Yeah, yeah. Balance it out. So let's hope we come. Let's hope we come up to okay. an, uh, an understanding. How about the land on the side of uh, no, parriba, parriba, uh, no, 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 right there, the, yeah, all that land. Uh -huh. the 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 all this can that be all this, this, all this, all this, is, all this is going to be developed. Okay, houses. So this is Cuatro Vientos. Concord Hill is going to run through here. Restaurant, hotel. All this okay, is going to be developed for houses. Residential. Like that. That's going to be no, that's residential. Oh, yeah. Residential. So get rid of those trees on this side. Don't press that. Are you holding the mess? Are you holding the Are you holding the motels, Mr. Vasquez? We'll be down down Cuatro Vientos. That's where the hotel motels. I can't from. picture physically where it's at. It's like a number. Then in the map. Uh, can we get Google Map on it? Right, right across the ninth grade campus is the entrance from the United oh, South. Oh, on the other side. side. Uh, where the stripes and United South is, no. you know, right now they develop no, Right Ranch, no, I think. Yeah, where Right Ranch is, yeah. So, right next to Right Ranch, Which, that's the area where it was. Oh, United South. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 No, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's... You can okay. see it, like... Did you ever go to Topeka, too, or did that put this, right? Let's beat them up. Yes, yeah, that's no, what, there's there's a, let's beat them up. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> just to understand, it's 32 million for phase one. Uh, I don't know how much phase two is going to be because by that time, quality price will double by then. Yeah. You know, so God knows what's going to happen with that. But this money is coming from the sports venue tax. The land for phase two has been allocated, or yes. not? Yes. So, so the the developer gave us 160 acres Do donated. Yes, they donated. Very 160 acres. Oh yeah, it's the biggest uh, land only. Yeah, 160 acres. But with the contingency that the city, that the city can buy 40 more acres. So these are your 40 acres that the city's got bought, that bought from there. Oh, so they gave us 160, we bought 40. At, at 30 million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. The bills are free though. Yeah. So so. What idea should we go here? So and the last thing here, if you wanna, if you can pass out the 
as you know now it's called the Buena Vista Sports oh, Complex. What's it called? What's it going to be? It's, no, it's, a sport, it's called the Buena Vista Sports Complex. You want to show them? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll put it here. I'll put it here. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say it's going to be named like Charlie San Miguel's parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <The> pool shit. <laughs> um, no, 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 okay. no, so it's called Buena Vista because it's called Buena Vista because in the contract, the owners of the land said with the contingency that we we got any rights to the complex. So when we negotiated the contract, uh, is it sideways? Yeah. Can we turn it or no? Okay. All right. There you yeah. go. So this is the the logo that got approved on uh, that got approved on on Monday. Can you get away from them bucks? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and the reason we got one. So there's two things on the go ahead and go up. Yeah. That's a good one. No, 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 no,
Pero está una, está una raro ahí tomando Gatorade. Right That's how hot they were. I got back to the island and I walked in and I was like, man, no, we'll, we'll have more trees planted there. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We have bullet point number eight items for next meeting. I know we already uh, suggested one, uh, which is very important. So it's important that we have quorum. I'm not saying without us coming yet, but um, you know whoever can be here. Uh, so we're able to get that process started. And, and I think that ultimately we want to meet with well, the uh, park staff. So we're able to give a recommendation in support so we're able to then forward it to our council members and you know let them know hey this is you know this is what we want to see in place the security uh, being the, the, the priority moving forward and then the, the reevaluating of the fees and all of that stuff so, so that the item will read uh, discussion possible action on the re the reevaluation of the contract for leagues and city ordinance currently in place um, any other items or suggestions for items? One thing I would like to put on there is I know that um, like it's like autism awareness and this right. and that. Is there any fields that we can look into to see what the cost would be to do like a handicap field, like a, a miracle league, something to that effect? Miracle field. Miracle field. Something where, where okay. we can't exclude everyone. Yeah. Like, so. I'm going to let Rita talk, talk on that because she is working on a special project going on in North Central Park. So you want to kind of give a little people on that? Um, Councilman had asked for an uh, ADA park uh, at North Central Park. He wanted to put all his money into that. Um, and so he's invested quite a lot. We also had a large sponsor, Beto Gutierrez, who came in with $300,000 in cash. And so between the councilman's funds, uh, park improvement fees for District 6, as well as the donation, uh, the project's gonna come in at about a million dollars. And so it is a large ADA park. It's got a huge playground, a uh, swing set, uh, sensory equipment. It's going to be on pour in place. The design shape of that is a salamander, which is known to be very, um, they adapt. And so that is the root of what inclusion is, is. Um, Where is this park going to be? ADA Park uh, is going to be directly south of the trailhead at North Central. There's that big where the area. Oh, where the, where the veterans thing was going to be? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. And so the parking lot has already gone in. Um, we're working on irrigation. Oh, put working on the Museum. meter. Museum, that was a veteran's mm -hmm. We're working on the meter, irrigation, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be in phases. You know, that thing was large, and so uh, we're putting in about half of the phases right now. Wow. We'll, we'll bring you, if you put in there, we'll bring you a sketch of the, of the ADA for, for the special needs. Next week. Next so week. An, an update in regards to, I think that would be more an update rather than an action item. Sure, so, sure. So, uh, Rafa's requesting a, Mr. Martinez is requesting a action item on status of for the ADA part. For the ADA. Um, i like to see that, well, well it, it would already be next month, but I, I'd like to suggest that the, a proclamation, July is National Parks Park. Month. Uh, every time, every, every year it's held a beautifully nice ceremony here in City Hall but you want to promote your parks. I think, um, uh, you know, the white, when, when the president does it, he doesn't do it at the White House. So uh, we should uh, throw ideas out there, uh, maybe through an email, uh, uh, when next month that it's celebrated in what park it, sh it should be, that the ceremony, that a, a ceremony be done at a park. I was thinking maybe the, uh, promote water, the water park in the uh, the Lazy River. I don't know if they have to be the Sisters of Mercy, but I know that they just did a ceremony there. 
also no something for the splat right maybe we should look at a part that doesn't get any recognition yeah. so that way since the cameras are there they can hey it's actually real nice it's right. actually like whichever part i don't I, know which part uh I'd say needs attention. If, if you go with that, the best undiscovered park is still, and, and even though it still gets packed, but Independence Hills or Independence Park, there's still a lot of people. There's that little pond back there. Yeah. Yeah. There's still a lot of people that don't know about it. But up to you all, and let's discuss that maybe through an email, or maybe if y'all have an idea, something you want to suggest, where the city could hold a. That's a nice park. Yeah. A ceremony. Mm -hmm. Is that Independence Park? Mm -hmm. July is the, the yeah. Part? yeah. So if if we discuss that for next meeting, it'll be too late because it, yeah, it, it, it would have already been you know. Yeah. And yeah. just an FYI on that, um, I think I came up with a good idea. Normally, for for parks parks for rec month, we always go to a, a different park in every district and show movies in the park, show a movie, you know, play games, uh, which is good. I mean, not, not, nothing wrong with that. But this is a what anniversary is this? The it's a Parks and Rec July month, but the theme that they oh, the theme. West, that uh, an RPA has selected is to recognize the Parks Administration for providing the community with all the parks uh, and areas of recreation that give to the community. So like it's an anniversary of it? Or no, yeah. it's no. not an anniversary no, no, per no. se. That's just the theme. Yeah. So in other words, year. let's let's imp let's improve the parks that we have. Okay, you're covering parks, but let's improve them. Let's beautify them. Yeah. All right. So instead of uh, instead of having these movies in the park that we would celebrate, is we pick we pick a park, we invite the community that belongs in that district to go beautify it. You know, let's go clean up. Yeah. Let's give rocks and paint, do some art, you know, paint some rocks and beautify. It. And at the same time, we'll. We still give hot dogs and we'll still give oh, drinks yeah. and yeah. snow cones. But if I put in a movie right away, it's, you know what? Let's you guys come promote the park. And when they take ownership to something, we'll hopefully cut down on vandalism because that's more of a yeah. story. story. You know? but, um, but I think we need to take ownership in something that their own oh. parks that. So, so that's what we're gonna so, do. Uh, so we want to stay away from Fourth of July, right? Uh, July first, maybe, because the month. Maybe do it on Friday. Oh, you're talking about the, the press conference? The, yeah. The, the event is usually held maybe like on the 7th, like, a, right? Maybe but I'm thinking if it's the beginning of the month, kick off the month. July 1st, what day is that? Friday. We can do that. So that's the day after your grand opening. Of yeah, the month. Uh, doesn't matter. July 1st. We can do July 1st. Or or do we do we kick it off at the grand opening saying, hey, this... It depends on like, the mayor. The mayor does it. But if he doesn't even talk to Well, now I've can't. seen like three people doing proclamation. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we, should, we should kick it off at the groundbreaking there. Like, hey, it's, we're celebrating parks. Mm. We're kicking this thing off. Okay, but I think that would take away the stage. Yeah, from yeah. The I, think, I, th I think we take away the stage from. from uh, two, two, two different ceremonies are, are out of. Are, are, you that know, once or not. Yeah, that but one. you're going to have one for a clean up. I would suggest a Saturday. Yeah, Fridays are. Because. Some kids are still in school stuff for that. No, no. You're talking about the cleanup or the or the or the, or the, no, no. Or the recognition no, no. of the the proclamation. Let's say let's say for the next day, if if staff is available, because I know that they're gonna their resources are gonna be on the thirtieth. Ah, it's a matter of intent over. Oh. Then if if you, if you I mean, we have every minimum as far as for the for the groundbreaking. That's being done to PIO and all that other stuff. We're just putting up the tent and the chairs and the carpet. Mm -hmm. So, so then let's say for that maybe the July first and be the official kickoff. Um, well, but I, I'm thinking, well, you had a good suggestion. Whatever part, let's just make a decision that way everyone knows that and, and hey, we're, we're quorum right here. And, and to include the other members also through an email, let's discuss that. Let's let, let's have that conversation maybe through an email. Just suggest what part without us having to take. Any action item, maybe just give suggestions, and then parks can you know decide what, where. You well, I'm saying that set a deadline so they can have enough time to hey, this is where we're going to have it. We're going to beautify it, get it uh, get it up to park. <laughs> June fifteenth. Yeah, park. Are we park now. June fifteenth. Yeah. And may I suggest also in that email, uh, you all may know of a park that really needs beautification because we're going to do eight of them, one in each district. Oh. And so if you know, uh, you know, you could recommend a particular park, you know, this this one needs a little bit of love. So well, know, why, don't we, why don't we, and I know that I'm, I'm 
putting my marketing hat on this. Why don't we do a promotion? Like, you name which park we need to go fix up. Like, let the public put some money into it where it's like, hey, you recommended Seven Flag or whatever, yeah. the one there by J.C. Martin was, was, yeah, the neighborhood is putting money into it because they're saying that's a park that needs to get. And then they run with it. They run with it, exactly. I'm saying like, let's, and, let and the people decide, hey. My, my next item along those lines, my, my recommendation for the next item is that we uh, uh, we get a report on, on the, the total cost of vandalism since it's gone up, but also that a PSA be done by the city in collaboration with the Parks Department to clean up, beautify, and end vandalism in parks. But, you know, and, and not against anybody currently in, in office, but it should be coming from people in the community that are going to be out there selling their parks. Whether it be, you know, whether it be, I don't know, the star player on the Alexander basketball team, uh, whether it be from different folks with different faiths, people that, you know, that they know, uh, the head cheerleader from Nixon High School, and the, you know, I don't know, like different folks that, that the city can relate to to be promoting these types of things. And, and you can throw it in there uh, mm -hmm. to beautify these parks as well. Yeah, yeah I know, like, I, I, I passed by the, yeah. the, the park, the, the one there on Bartlett. Mm -hmm. I passed by that park. Who did that? And you always see, uh, it, when I'm heading to work like at 730, and you always see the same people walking at the yeah. same time. And it's like, those are the faces that you need because they're always... Yeah out here every day yeah, like right. every day they're, they're out here utilizing the park that's real a, people that are out there that's an actual tour of the pond in the middle yeah, yeah. That one aside thing. aside from you know everybody knows who the mayor is and the council members i don't think you know? i don't think it's but, about them yeah you want to be able to put the a real face to that and, and and creating some kind of psa psa because the other thing like the idea about bringing the schools schools and involvement mm -hmm. and and because the other thing is that plus i want to be on there because I'm gonna run like we don't want that. We want it to be exactly. beautify the exactly. parts. It's not a political agenda. It's not who you're gonna. It's yeah. Do you guys ever do anything with labs and stuff? Yeah. Like where you guys break, they, you guys do like a collab where they bring out dogs and maybe it could also be like an adoption. I'm gonna have to be taking off. Yeah, so, yeah. So we we want to we, 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 we bring animal control with us and they bring their, like an adoption of dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every time we have, we have we bring them. Oh, okay. Cool. Every event we have is called. I mean, they, uh, yeah. Suggest uh, just for another. I have on there. Another second round. I've been in contact with the Texans for Mountain Lions. Um, Mountain Lions. For Mountain Lions. Texans for Mountain Lions. And it sounds funny, but actually, uh, Mountain Lions. Trees, <laughs> Mountain Lions. Mountain Lions are um, a uh, species of Web County. There's a few of them yeah. here. Um, and they are endangered, and then they're currently not protected in the state of Texas. So um, wanted to see, I, I wanted to bring it up to the board, and you all decide to, you know, to knock it down at your will. But some kind of letter of commitment to council in support of of having some legislation in the state of Texas that will protect mountain lions. Um, You're in white tail country. Do you well, know how many thousands and hundreds of thousands of people invest in their ranches and their deer and their hunting? That's what I'm saying. You That's know, crazy. It, it, it's a it's a big factor because their meal is is a white white tail, tail. yeah. So that's the uh, conversation that I had with with them. Wow. But they wanted to make some presents here. They reached out to us, and and then the the board can take any decision. But it's just so we are able to send a letter of commitment of some sort to council. And then, uh, like I said, maybe then you have to reach the council. It can be discussed here, be voted on or against on against. But it's I, I, I just think that it's something we can Is that something that we can is that something that we can do on our own? Well without slaughter park city, without the city's You could always write a recommendation. A recommendation. Mm -hmm. Well they decide <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, no. And and and, I, and you know, that goes with that discussion that I had with them. I said, dude, these animals eat white tailed deer. It's our bread and butter here, so uh, yeah. But that was my suggestion. Uh, we'll start up an email chain with with that communication for next month's activities. 
Anything else? Official no. Uh, adjournment. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Against? None? Motion carries. We're adjourned.